So today I'm going to show you how I like my Windows desktop to look. So it's just a, a couple of tweaks that I like to use. So I'm going to start off with the taskbar. So as you can see, the Windows taskbar, primarily along the bottom of your screen, has got all your kind of icons to the left hand side. Now, I like it in the center, and I use a program for that called Taskbar X. Now, it's free to download. I'll leave any links in the descriptions if it's something you're looking to do. And as you can see, I've got it preset at the moment to go straight to the center. The configuration options that you've got on it, oh, wrong one, gives you a few choices. You can have it center, left, right, ch choice of animations. I like the transparent gradient. So at the moment, you can see when you pull down, it is a slight bit transparent, but when we add the gradient to it and we apply it, let it go back to center to apply it. It's gonna make that see through there. And what we can do as well, if we go to position, untick don't center and click apply and that'll put it back to the center sometimes it resets when you're going through some of the configuration options for it and um, but you can put on schedules you can change a uh, center of the primary taskbar so if you've got two or three monitors you can always have it separate monitors different layouts for it and um, it's a pretty nifty little thing and the one thing i like about it as well is when you open new things so if i open another folder nah, that one will double up actually um, so let's just pick Microsoft Project. Not the, the quickest app to open, but you notice that when I open Microsoft Project, it's gonna load up and it's already popped there along and you've seen it shuffle. So it moves all your apps and adds it to the end, moves it along one by one. It's pretty nifty. So that's the first tweak that I like to do just to make it look a little bit nicer. And I also have T-Clock. And T-Clock is just a nice app for changing the layout of your clock in the bottom corner there. And it also gives you some cool configurations. So you've got alarms, timers, without having to go into the separate application for it. You can just do it all straight from the clock there. Um, and you can change a whole bunch of things. And the very simple but last thing I like to do, desktops are nice, wallpapers are nice, you can pick all sorts. But I like to use Wallpaper Engine. It's about two or three pounds available on Steam. It gives you all these interactive wallpapers. So the one I'm on just now is this one and it's very, very subtle, but you'll see the water moving there in the background. So I'll show you what it looks like to change the wallpaper. Um, and we'll pick one that's a little bit more noticeable. So we're gonna use the wallpaper from my first monitor, which is not my ultra wide. And we do have stream beats playing in the background. So even if I pick a more one that interacts with it, we apply that. Well, looks like that one's going to give us a little bit of an error. Okay, <laughs> bad example then. Um, it does say that it's on it as well. Let's pick a different one. So there we go. Let's go with that one. So you can see here, there's some lights going. Some of them even have um, background music as well. But it gives it a little bit of atmosphere. So I'm quite liking kind of some of the, the cityscapes at the moment. Or you've got, um, let's just try the color space one. And again, that subtle slight moving. And it doesn't even use a lot of kind of um, memory or anything like that. If you've got kind of 16 gigs of RAM, even 8 gigs of RAM, if you're not running a lot of applications, it'll be absolutely fine. Um, but it's, it's, it's a nifty piece of software and there's a lot of choice you can go and search for. Um, let me just see here. So we can go to Discover and you've got the choice of a lot of them. There's Baby Yoda straight off the button. Um, and they're all animated. Some of them, again, have noises. You don't have to have them, but even, there you go, you know, Rainy Day, or if you want games based ones, there's loads of those. Scenery, space, cityscapes, there's such a good choice. Um, there's just a few small tweaks though. Make your desktop look a little bit nicer. And I think it makes you more productive, quite honestly. But if you like any of these, I'll leave the links for them in the description below. They are all free except for Wallpaper Engine, but it's worth every penny. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. You small. <laughs> Just a smoo with a smoo smoo what few